first here, 60 units, but again, minor injuries to just those two firefighters, so okay here right now. I'm Lauren Victor, reporting live in the Loop, CBS 2 News, Marissa. All right, Lauren, we'll check back with you in a bit. Thank you. A parolee who ran from officers in the South Chicago neighborhood for 10 hours is back in police custody this morning. He was found in North Suburban Glenview. A parole officer tried arresting Keir Mormon on a warrant near the 2700 block of East 81st Street. That's when police say he overpowered the Illinois Department of Corrections officer and ran ran off while still handcuffed on one wrist. I saw the helicopter swirling around, around, around. I'm like, that's the police. They've got to be looking for someone. Mormon has a lengthy criminal history and was only out on parole a few weeks and is likely to face more charges now. Who would steal from a church? That's the question on the minds of parishioners and staffers this morning at Holy Name Cathedral. And it's where CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live now with the latest. Hi, Mike. Hi, while it is not clear who the thieves are, it is clear that they struck multiple times in the past few months. Now, police say beginning last month and continuing into this month, two males were seen entering church offices during the evening hours. It's not clear if any of the thefts were caught on video surveillance equipment. What is clear is that the weekly collection money has been coming up short. That, of course, led to an investigation where church leaders discovered evidence of repeated criminal trespassing in cathedral offices. The extent of the losses not yet determined, but numbers are expected to be released after an audit of weekly collections is completed. Area North detectives are handling the investigation at this time. Parishioners are being asked to pray amid these troubling reports. Reporting live outside Holy Name Cathedral, Mike Cuccinelli. CBS 2 News. Marissa, Aaron? Mike, thank you. Developing this morning in Dallas, two police officers and a Home Depot security guard are in critical condition, and a man is in custody after a shooting at the home improvement store. The arrest came after a lengthy high speed chase through the city. CBS 2's Hannah Dober reports. We got our man. Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings expressed relief following the arrest of Ramondo Luis Juarez. I want to thank our Dallas police tonight. Uh, they have taken a punch and they've come out fighting. Police say 29 year old Juarez was being escorted out of a Home Depot in northern Dallas Tuesday afternoon when he opened fire, shooting two police officers and a store security guard. A source told a CBS affiliate in Dallas that a male police officer was shot in the back of the head and a female officer was shot in the face. Investigators say Juarez escaped in a white pickup truck, prompting a citywide manhunt. They pursued this individual through the area of northwest Dallas where they apprehended him. A female passenger was arrested along with Juarez. He's facing multiple counts, a warrant for multiple counts of aggravated assault on a police officer. All three shooting victims underwent surgery last night and remain hospitalized. Hanadoba, CBS 2 News. The victim's conditions have not yet been released. It is unclear who Juarez's passenger was or what charges she may now be facing. Today, the Supreme Court will hear arguments on President Trump's ban on travelers from mostly Muslim countries. Lower courts have struck down the ban. Chicago's chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations wants those rulings upheld. These policies are not only unconstitutional in our view and un American, but they have real impact on communities. They tear families apart. They target innocent families who have done nothing wrong. Justices will consider whether the president can indefinitely keep people out of the country based on their nationality and whether the ban breaks immigration laws. The policy has been in effect since December. This is the last case the Supreme Court will hear until October. A third federal judge has overruled the Trump administration's plan to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, or DACA. The judge gave the Department of Homeland Security 90 days to better explain its reasons for ending DACA, but it has to start taking new applications for the program. DACA protects immigrants who were here as children when their parents brought them into the United States. So far, no court has found it to be unconstitutional. A man with 15 DUIs is already, is, that is already, faces a judge today for yet another arrest. The serious charges he's now facing. And drama in the courtroom as the Bill Cosby trial comes to an end. How the defense team targeted one of Cosby's accusers. Plus, thousands of students will get a special performance at Allstate Arena today. What they had to do to score a ticket. And our rain chances over the next several days, they're very low. Nothing today or tomorrow. There's a 10% chance Friday. So with no rain chances, what about temperatures? Wait until you see the numbers. I'll show you coming up. 
Carmelissa McCarthy exclusive in Las Vegas.